Hey, this is Chris Panic. We're at Motorhead Headphone Lounge, and uh, we're with Meadow Towns 2013. We have the sword. Just give us your name and what you do in the band. I'm JD. I sing and play the guitar. Uh, my name is Brian. I do other stuff. <laughs> other stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm into that. Okay, you know, when you guys write, it's, I always like to talk about how you start your writing process. Are you an organic band, or are you kind of very much in the studio and put it onto a laptop and then sort of come to it later? Or would you like to be in the rehearsal room? We are 100% uh, organic, hormone-free, <laughs> antibiotic-free, <laughs> free-range, all-natural, um, uh, cage-free. <laughs> cage-free, definitely uh, cage-free. Um, what else is? Uh, is you already said GMO-free. GMO-free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so NSA-free. Did you guys just sort of like take a few beers and sort of like sit in a rehearsal room and just come up with ideas and sort of look each other in the eye and say, hey man, this is cool, or maybe this sucks? I mean, how does it work for you guys? No, we tend not to drink really when we're rehearsing yeah. so much. Yeah. Save that for the festivals. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, we just, you know. Uh, it just happens, man. We wake up and the songs are just there. Yeah. It's like they, you know, we wake up, we, we go to bed with a blank sheet of paper, we wake up, sheet of music. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Do, do you sleep next to your guitar just in case you kind of have a dream and you've got this riff in your head that you kind of need to get out? Um, yeah, yeah, you never know. Or, you know, I mean, maybe I could, I, sometimes I try to play the guitar in my sleep, you know, so. <laughs> Whatever well, works, you know. Well, if you're lying next to someone, that could be bit, uh, pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, yeah, that doesn't, <laughs> that's usually not a problem. Get a machine, <laughs> get a machine head in the eye or something, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. So how, how, have you, how have you found the festival so far in Sweden? It's fun. I'm having a good time. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Metal Town's awesome. Sweden rules. Well, you've had the good weather because here on Thursday it sucked balls. Yeah, yeah, I heard it was bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. We, a we brought the good weather. <laughs> we actually, it's, it was, uh, it's, it's. We tow it along with our trailer. It goes bus, trailer, good weather. So, you know, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. But tell us about some of your more interesting festival experiences. You know, like where's had the worst toilet paper? I don't know, man. Whatever, whatever what comes to mind. What was it yesterday? Had no toilet paper. <laughs> it was bring your own toilet paper. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's been any other like really uh, no horror stories. Yeah. This tour, I don't think. The one was it called As Cure As Kina? That was a, the festival in Spain. That was really nice. That was cool. They had toilet paper and toilet seats. <laughs> you know. I hope the food was nice. It was great. It was great, man. It was great. So um, now obviously you you know you're a touring band. I want to hear about some of those first experiences in the in the van where you know you're all sort of curled up together with all your gear, having to oh, sleep in each other. You mean last week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that what it was like? No, a and next week actually. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's always what it's like, man. So, so you're not on a private jet stage yet, then? No, no, no. We we only do the private jet when Metallica asks us if we want to fly. Does that happen often? Uh, it's happened twice. <laughs> That must be nice. Any nice stories about that? Oh, I mean, I got a gazillion and one stories about that. Uh, give us one then. Uh, they have sushi. On the plane. On the plane. Yeah. Okay. Did, yeah. It, did they have their therapist? Not yeah. on the plane. <laughs> no. They just had me. So any, any nice kind of war stories, though? You know, you know, they might have chucked something out from back in the day. Uh, uh, n no, no. Do you ever just sit there and try and pick their minds and ask them questions about music? Because I always talk to musicians and I'm no. like, you know, I always want to no, ask questions. We don't really need to do that because we are we we think the same way, you yeah. know, we're, we're, I mean. I like to talk to them about other stuff, Yeah. you know. We already know how to do the music shit. We got that down, they, you know. Yeah, and, and most of their favorite guitars are kind of like our favorite guitars and stuff yeah. like that. So it's kind of like, you know, I don't need to ask them stuff like that. I want to ask them stuff like, you know, hey man, what's growing in your garden? You know, like. Do you think? Do you think they do their own gardening? Oh, I think they do. <laughs> I thought James Hetfield was a bit I more of a gunman. You I know. I think Kirk might be a gardener. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> so it gets a little bit slow on the plane. I take it. <laughs> so you see, you're pulling back the years to the 70s. I take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how we do it. <laughs> oh, I very much definitely do. So whereabouts do you guys come from in America then? Oh, I, we're from Texas, but uh, he's from Austin, Texas. Yeah. yeah. Heard some amazing stuff about Austin. Oh, it's, it's a great got, any, got any nice stuff? What's the scene like over there? Uh, uh, very populated. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> rampant. <laughs> so, when you guys are starting out, how did you find sort of breaking through into, like, say, we'll, we'll call it the mainstream? Uh, uh, being awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> being a band with a point. Yeah. No pun intended. What point was that, though? 
Um, you know, like, uh, like well in Austin, there are just a lot of bands that don't have any kind of point. They just get together and <laughs> play some whatever comes to them, and they don't have any kind of like direction or idea. So basically, you're saying they suck. No, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. I'm just saying they're directionless, and yeah. uh, you know, they need. They don't. They're not. They're unfocused. Okay. And, like uh, they're a flopping fish. Yeah. You so know. So if you're just gonna give advice to people to, to get focused, what would it be then? Um, be in one band. Yeah. Yeah. Narrow it down. Pick your like. You know, your your favorite band of the five or six bands you're in, and quit the other ones. <laughs> uh, and you know, the band with the best idea. You know, stick with that one. Go with that. And if that doesn't work, try something else. But you know. One thing at a time. So, what what were your main influences when you started the band? Oh man, you know, just trying to make a, a heavy band that would kind of fill a niche uh, that that didn't really exist at the time. At this point, it's kind of been filled pretty well, uh, but you know, but uh, you know. I know yeah. it's I know it's a very difficult thing in the rock scene now to reinvent the wheel. In yeah, fact, yeah. I think it's pretty much impossible. But I mean, you know, yeah. but what you can do is you can write heartfelt music. I mean, is that how you just went about you guys setting up? Yeah, yeah, precisely. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're, we're definitely not uh, a, a sort of avant-garde band musically. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of putting your own spin on, on you know, on, on the sound and, uh, and yeah, yeah, writing songs that, that mean something to you. Is there anything you want to say to the fans back home in Sweden and anywhere else? You know, you can put this on your Facebook page or something and say, hey, we did this crazy interview in Sweden, you know. Der Jenter hat a sick fine rumpa. I don't speak German, so I'm, do I'm done for there. That's Norwegian. Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, it sounded German. It was dirty, I think. So. Yeah, it, was, it was dirty. Okay. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for coming on the show. I mean, this is this is the Motorhead Lounge. This is Metal Town 2013, and we have the sword here. I mean, uh, just get your just get your horns out and rock on. What? Get your horns out. Huh? <laughs>